Do you think we're near a low at this point because 40 wasn't, 30 wasn't? Um, I've heard it could go support-wise to 13,000. Do you think we get 13 on Bitcoin? I don't. Listen, this though was a kind of a tale as old as time. And when when the the water you know went out of the the tide went out, what we saw was lots and lots of excessive leverage at you know centralized crypto companies ironically not online company you know not, not on chain companies guys like celsius three arrows blockfi that just had unbelievable amounts of leverage and so we've now seen a lot of these file or put up gates uh you know basically declare bankruptcy and you're having this massive deleveraging i think most of that deleveraging is out of the system you know we're engaged in a lot of uh of conversations around people that needed capital. And so the new capital that have come into crypto will literally be kind of recapping some of these companies uh, or asset sales. And so we're gonna go sideways. Listen, could we go lower? Of course we could. It, it feels like we're 90% through that deleveraging. The problem of course is for you to go much higher, you need the narrative to, to re-pick up and you need new capital to come in. And so my, my instinct is it's gonna be choppy sideways for a while until either the Fed flinches and we get that macro narrative or just the damage is healed, people no. get an equilibrium and the, the market starts going again. You worry about, you know, when things like this happen, it, it's systemic um, problems and it kind of spreads, but it's kind of, do you know SBF? I think it's cool that the guy has just initials, uh, SBF. He's almost like MBS. I'm JRK, which unfortunately, you are? unfortunately is jerk. Um, but... Um, <laughs> Joe, Sam Bankman Fried, he, he's everywhere. He's got his hand in everything. He's, he's white knight, he's customer, he's lender, he's stepping in here, he's stepping in there. Um, you know him? Do you, do you, is this a good thing? I do know him. Um, listen, he is aggressive, he's smart. He has been smart to keep the cost of running his business very low, right? He kept it offshore, uh, it's, it's very automated, and so, He's making, you know, it appears he's making his play to try to consolidate a bigger and bigger retail franchise, right? right? From stake in Robin Hood to, to, to going in for BlockFi. Um, you know, how do you, how do you touch the, the retail customer? Um, listen, you know, what's different about crypto and, and normal markets is they're not a lender of last resort, right? In crises and the long term capital management crises, the Fed came in. Like, Crypto doesn't have the Fed. And right now we have a Fed that's still hiking, not cutting. And so that 30 to 20,000 really was this deleveraging, uh, or 30 to 18,000 was this deleveraging of a system that was far too leveraged. And, you know, you know, shame on lots of the players for running, you know, what is just irresponsible, not just leverage, but asset liability mismatched, taking consumer deposits in, you know, overnight and lending them out as long as three or three years. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.